Now, surviving in today's environment actually takes a lot more than the skills you pick from school. Now, there's a lot that you can learn. Everyone, like experts are telling us, needs to have a vocation, something that you can fall back on when the going gets tough. Our entrepreneur this week is a student who is also baking cakes. <laughs> Ivan Katsime makes a fortune at a time when the lockdown was at its peak, breaking the economy of many to the knees. This 24-year-old perfects an idea from his father's suggestion of buying a cake for his brother's birthday. This is when the engineering student at Kampala Polytechnic, Mengo, took a gamble to make the cake for the party. From then on, he is shuttling between his studies and the business, giving time for each. I do studies as I'm doing my business of baking, uh, so I do it alone. After lectures, I do come here when I have orders, I do the orders, then have some rest, read the books. I do baking of uh, cakes, bread, and a lot of bakery stuff, and I do them from home. I rent only one, a single room with uh, this store, so I do my baking from here. This is a store I try to organize it like the way it is. Uh, this idea, actually it was Corona time, you know, you are, you know, there was nothing like working, there was nothing like schooling. So I was at home and we had the birthday of my elder brother. Uh, Dad said we need to buy cakes, but then he had told us how to like, make some cakes. But then we worried, we are like had not gone to these ideas of icing and whatsoever. So I went to my YouTube, like I went to YouTube and tried to search on how to do the icing, do the baking. Then I did that. After learning, I went and tried it out. It worked out very well. The cake was so nice. So the next time, I was like, I think I should be making a cake for everyone's birthday. We should not buy cakes again. He begs from his rented room as he builds his client base mainly through Instagram and other social media applications to strengthen his aspiration. He can't get a shop now. I work from here, I have no shop because I don't have that money to set up a shop. But how I do it is I make cakes, post on the what, like WhatsApp statuses, uh, I have an Instagram account where I do the posting of all these uh, the cakes I make, so I get orders online. Ivan has set business target terms of clients he hopes to supply. His identification is focused on birthdays, introductions, Christmas holidays, and Valentines, among others. We have uh, introductions, we have birthdays, actually also Valentines, Easter, Easter Christmas. So there is a lot of market for me. Every opportunity that comes, uh, I find it so, so important that I always have to follow it. He has tried to make his cakes attractive to the best of the clients by decorating according to the order placed. I always make sure that whatever I do is so special from what others do. Uh, like of recent, like on, on Valentine's, what I did, I made sure that I had to mix the cakes with the other love part. So I get flowers, I make like cupcakes, try to surprise people. You get a trumpet guy, like plays trumpet for the loved one. So that was also something special. And I, I can call that like branding. Ivan did not know how far this could go. Only now he realizes that he's able to pay for his accommodation and help his siblings. When I started this business, yeah, it was something I didn't know that would help me out a lot. I pay rent myself, I eat, I get transport to campus. So it has really helped me a lot. And the other side, on the other side of my mom, yeah, I hope my siblings. However, Ivan faces some challenges, especially that come with pay bills, let alone school. The biggest challenge is I'm not established, like I don't have a shop that uh, I operate in, like I have my cakes there displayed like any other person. Uh, another problem is the electricity. Because electricity, you know, with the machines, with the ovens, it's really expensive. These machines need a lot of uh, energy. But to him, he's determined to achieve his dream. He gives out business cards as a way to widen his clientele base 
and after his studies, this is what he looks up to. I do business cards. I have business cards, so I serve to people. Even if I'm in the taxi, the one I'm seated next to, I make sure that I give him a business card. Uh, I do have stickers. Every box of the cake that moves out of my bakery, I make sure that it goes with a sticker. So that any person who eats on the cake or who sees that box, either in the taxi or on a border border, he can even copy the digits and then gives me a call. Uh, after school, after campus, that will be in March, when I'm done with my course, I'll go here, yeah, work, and then get enough capital when I get someone to sponsor me. Uh, then I'll make a yeah, bigger bakery with uh, a shop where people can come and uh, yeah, they access this, this. 